Defence is rotten at its core, and the Inspector General of the Australian Defence Force is part of that. It's Defence's legal system. I know it, veterans know it, and the Australian people can see it. But the Minister of Defence seems to be trapped in a world of sunshine and lollipops. I've known about the problems in the IGADF for years. Last year I wrote, I wrote to the Attorney General requesting an urgent audit for three reasons. First, the Office of the IGADF has never been audited. Not once in the 20 years since it was established. Second, the Office of the IGADF increased its staff by 85% all at taxpayers' money, money's expense. And finally, the IGADF have been called out by the Royal Commission on their poor leadership and their lack of accountability and transparency on numerous occasions. Even though the IGADF and the Australian National Audit Office are separate agencies and they are supposed to be impartial, but they, they met to discuss the, and I quote, scope of potential audit, including to determine the audibility of the IGADF's functions, end quote. In September last year, Justin Duncan Kerr was commissioned to review the Office of the Inspector General of the Australian Defence Force. This review was handed down to the Secretary and Chief of the Defence Force on the 31st of March 2024. Yet all we have, had, all we, yet all we have more than three months on is crickets. That's right, crickets. Not a report or minister in sight willing to take action or accountability. They have put their life on the line for this country only for, the, only for the IGADF to protect the top brass and not our diggers. The role of the IGADF is very important, as they say on their website, and I quote, oversee the quality and fairness of Australia's military justice system, end quote. But its importance relies on the job being done fairly, impartially and independently. To me, it's failed on all fronts. I asked Minister Miles' office if I could see Justice Kerr's review. And I was told that I could, but oh yes, oh yes, there's always a but, Defence members. I could only have 15 minutes in the Minister's office to read the report. I couldn't take it away with me, let alone speak on it. And then I would have 30 minutes to ask questions. Are you kidding me? Obviously, I told them where they could stick it. The Minister needs to release this report effective immediately. The government can talk about low recruitment and, intent and retention in their Defence Forces, but seriously, what have you actually done about it? What have you actually done about it? It's obvious that these things relate to failings and cover-ups at the top end of defence, but it's not just cover-ups. Serving members and veterans don't have a minister that backs them in. In response to the Berriton report, the Minister of Defence said, and I quote, Today is a day where we come together and support the very difficult work which lies ahead in restoring integrity to Australia's defence forces, end quote. I have a few ideas on how to restore that integrity. Just come and ask me, Minister Miles, and I'll share them with you, like I have done in the past. It would be great if you would actually start listening, mate. It starts with cleaning out the top brass that has been fixated on protecting the Defence Force over and above its diggers, diggers at all costs, even if it means covering up for the institution. Under Minister Moles, we have seen the appointment of Vice Admiral David Johnson to the position of Chief of the Australian Defence Force. Well, I hope, Vice Admiral Johnson, you have a mop and bucket with you when you come in, because I can assure you, for when he takes that top position this month, he has a lot of work to do. I reckon you'll need a whole battalion of elves behind you, mate. For too long, instead of lifting those who have served our country up, the Australian government has done nothing to push them down. It's time the government got real about addressing the systematic, systemic issues in our defence force. And I don't mean to sound like a broken record, but you'll only fix it when you stop putting the usual suspects into positions of power. And I know from many veterans and their families that the legal system within defence has caused veteran suicides. And until it's fixed, the minister and the top brass will continue to have blood on your hands. And if Minister Miles is serious about acting and fixing the legal system within defence, he needs to make it an independent agency, completely independent from defence. Otherwise, it's just defence policing itself. We've been doing that for years, and it's a big part of why we ended up with the Royal Commission into veteran suicides. Unfortunately, we are stuck with an Inspector General who is as useless as they possibly come, all too concerned with every other interest but that of accountability, transparency and reducing veteran suicide. This, may, this seems to have worn off on the Minister for Defence, who at every opportunity ensures he is devoid of any kind of accountability. The 20-year review into the, officer, into the office of the IGADF better come up with some answers because I can assure you, families out there are counting on you. They've had a gut fall. This hiding, this hiding this report that you've had for three months is absolutely disgraceful. You are not helping our veterans, let alone the suicides that are going on in defence, which I hear are worse than ever.